Hey guys, Rich Page, R. Jebethan, Timber Frame Company, Main Timber Frame. We're making some kitchen cabinets, kitchen pantry cabinets, a kitchen island, and a couple other cabinets to match current cabinets in a house right now. Uh, nice little project. We're working with the Woodmiser MP360 to plane out the wood. And what I've noticed is that my setup for the blade cutting depth is not as good as I'd like it to be. And so this is the gauge. Uh, I had put a video together. This is the gauge we were using. I put a little video together where I put a mark on there. I thought I had the knife set pretty good, but I want to show you that I'm getting a lot of buildup on one knife in one chip breaker and not on the other, which is telling me one knife is cutting deeper than the other, so one knife's doing more of the work than the other. So I've come up with a setup on how to get both knives on both sides of the cutter head to the pretty much exact same cutting depth so that the blade will work evenly and we'll get an overall better product. So let me show you the setup and what we're doing. All right, I'm going to move the camera around. Okay, so what you'll see here is I've got a couple dial indicators. Zoom in on those. Uh, with magnetic bases, these are an Amazon deal. I think they might be, I don't know, 35 bucks a piece. Sounds like a lot of money, but I'm looking for the precision to get these blades just about right. What I want to show you, I've got both of these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this just a little bit here to, uh, to lift this up out of the way. Okay, so I've got that out of the way. I'm going to rotate the head. So if you'll see, there's a little bit of work going on in the knife area here on this cutter blade and you'll see the chip breaker build up. So typically what you want to do is keep this area clean with alcohol, uh, wipe, out, wipe out your pitch. We're running eastern white pine so we get a lot of pitch. So let me back up, turn this head around. I've got the indicators out of the way so they won't hit. Now take a look at how much work is going on with this blade inside this chip breaker. So what that's saying is this blade is cutting deeper than the other blade and it's doing all the work. So what, I, so what we're doing now is setting up these indicators on both sides of the blade and what our process is, let me make this a little smaller, is to touch off the indicator on the head we'll, and then once, once we touch it off on the small rev meter we'll set that at one and then we'll set the, we'll set the head to zero. So let's see if we can't get that done. I'm gonna working on touching off right now and setting the little dial indicator to about one. You'll see the little dial indicator moving over here. And we're gonna set that at about zero. We'd do the same to the other one, and I'll tell you in a minute there, they're offset because when you do this by yourself, uh, you've only got two hands and it makes it difficult to do. So we've got that set at zero. So that's where our head is as a reference is at zero. And I can get that a little bit better here. So, and, and these gauges are pretty fussy. So we know the head's at zero. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this up and we're gonna watch as we get to the top of the cutter head. So right now, That, so you can rock it back and forth on the high point. So I can't get beyond 70. 70 is my high point. I'll do the same process over here on this side with this indicator, touching off on the head, setting this to zero, and checking the height of the knife over here. And then what I'll do is loosen it up, and I'll make my adjustments so that I'm getting the same reading on both indicators. Then I'll rotate the head 180 degrees, and I'll make sure that I get the same reading uh, that I set over here. So if this is 70, I'll make sure that all readings are 70 on the knives on both sides of the head in both locations. Doing that should give me pretty much a perfect knife setup knowing that both knives will be at the same depth doing the same amount of work. All right, so that's my setup. Just wanted to share that with you. One other thing too, and I'm going to point this out. I'll see if I can't zoom in a little bit is these, these uh, indicators come with a whole bunch of different heads on them. There was a ball head on it. I took that off and I put a just a rounded head. What I found is, is that the ball head actually fetches up in the knife and it can move your indicator position. So I changed that, these out. I think you get probably 30 probes with the kit. And I put in a nice rounded head here. So all you have to do is rock it back and forth and 
get to your high spot. So you can see my high spot's just a hair over 70. And then I'll do the same setup over here, set it up. I'll touch off on here to make this zero and make sure that I, got, I have the blade here set to where it's going to be also at 70. Then I'll know both sides of the blade are at the same height. I'll rotate the blade 180 degrees, do it again, make sure that I maintain that 70 number. And from there, I should have two blades that are going to cut uh, very nicely and very consistently. So I won't have a chip breaker that's filling up on one side and really not doing any work on the other. All right. I hope this helps. Give me some feedback. Click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.